My friend Joyce Meyer said one time to me, John, God will never hold you accountable for gifts you don't have. <laughs> He's never going to hold you accountable for things you can't do well, for strengths that aren't apparent in your life. He's going to hold you accountable for the gifts you do have, the strengths you do have. Hi, John Maxwell here today. Welcome with Minute with Maxwell. I'm glad you're with me because I want to talk to you about uniqueness because what makes you unique is the gifts that you have. It sets you apart. I know for a fact that if I sit at a table with six people, that every one of those people on that table will have a strength, a gift that is unique to them that I don't have. In fact, that's one of the reasons why I believe in collaboration. It just makes sense that if people have strengths I don't have, if we can pull all those strengths together, we're just better together than we are alone. But here's what makes you unique. Not only that you have gifts that are different than anyone else's, a personality that is unique from everyone else's, but that you maximize it. I call that special unique. You're unique in the fact that you're different, but you're special unique by the fact that you maximize that difference to help other people. So I encourage you right now, whether it's reading Strength Finders and find out what your strengths are or a temperament book on like personality plus, it doesn't really matter. Just find out what your personality is, find out what your strengths are, find out what you do really well and whatever that is, that's what makes you unique. Now today be special unique. When you find out what those things are, Develop them, cultivate them, maximize them, help them to reach their potential. And then you're special, unique.